Okay, here it is. 2003 Meridian 3388. The twin diesels. As we walk down the side, it's all pretty shiny for the most part. You have some areas like here that could be a little shinier. It's not been let go, but it could definitely use a buff. Same up in this area here. It could use a buff, but not bad. I like that it has window covers. Um, all in all, I don't see any chips or scratches. The rail's not bent at all. It's in pretty good condition. It could just use a buff jump. It has a has a, a davit system here, so this would be for a small dinghy. It would click in there and then just flip up. This side actually looks a little better than the other, but like right up here, there's a little milkiness that'll need to be buffed out. Um, but once again, it's just do for a wax, it's not overdue, it's just do. So that's nice. As we come aboard, we're in the cockpit. You have storage down here in the floor. You have storage here in the back, and this is a nice area where you could set up some tables and chairs. You have 110 power right here. Um, that can be used for your blender. You have a barbecue in this area. As we move inside, your 110 panel is here. Or excuse me, your battery panel and breakers are here. And then your main panel is here with your ignition. So you have 12 volt on the right and 110 on the left. Uh, there's your inverter controls right there. So we have a uh, settee here. It looks comfortable. One, two, three to four. Um, you know, but mainly I would just want to be in one of these armchairs. You know, one of these sections here, and then someone next to me there, and that would be it. Um, I like how it has a galley up. I really think this is cool. Having the galley back in this area, where when you're using it, you can actually see out, or it's really easy pass food on out to that little table I was talking about setting up back there. Here's your stereo. The TV's in this section. I did find that the boat has heat and that heat would come out of these vents on either side. It actually goes all the way around. And if you installed air conditioning it would come out in that same area. So all the venting's there if you did want air um, but right now it's just heat. This table goes up and down, so it can go down to coffee table height, or it can come up to cocktail height, or in the middle would be your dinner height. Um, there's supports that make that table a little more sturdy, but I'm working one-handed here, so I'm just going to use, use it like this. But yeah, it's a nice table to sit there and have dinner, and then fold it up and um, use it as a coffee table. This is what I like to see. See how this fridge, there's no rust around the edges. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say this is a new refrigerator because this is just way too clean. And uh, it's very quiet. It just cycled on and I'm not hearing a bunch of noise. That really annoys me. Nice big sink and has a faucet, which is nice for doing dishes because boat water pressure usually isn't that great. Um, a lot of storage. And you have sliding drawers here. And those are on ball bearings, so they slide really nicely. This is really cool in here. So you have one of these, um, I guess you'd call it a Lazy Susan. So you can get to your stuff. This would be great when you're traveling.
These are the things that make this boat the one that I like for traveling. Once again, you have more shelves that come out, and they feel really sturdy. All the hinging, that's the same as you'd find on a Sea Ray. All good stuff. So, um, more shelving. Looks like this is the bar area. And then down here, we have a high definition multimedia interface 1080 um, um, CD, uh, DVD player. Mm -hmm. So these are actually very comfortable beds. This area here just slides out. It usually flips out and makes a really comfortable bed. And that flex steel, that's good stuff. The flex steel is the upholstery. It's really high end. Um, and it seems to wear very well. Okay, here we have our helm. Lots more storage. Nice helm seat. Not a lot of signs of wear. Um, we have a C80. And so this is a, a good GPS. I wouldn't say that it's you know the most current one, but it's probably you know 03 vintage. And in 03, that was about as good as it got. Um, I don't see a page for radar on here, but I did see a radar antenna up above, so we'll have to verify um, if it has a working radar or why that's not coming up. Usually you just go to the menu and you can go to page setup, but I don't want to mess with this guy's boat. But I will confirm that it has a working radar. You have switches down here uh, that run your wipers, um, fuel transfer switches, engine blower, and a 12 volt um, for charging your phone, which is nice. And you also have your engine starts right over here. More switches up in this area. Um, you have bow and stern thrusters, trim tabs on the far right, um, GPS switch in the middle there to turn on, and then just, you know, navigation lights and a horn and a high water alarm over here. All your controls, they look to be in good shape. But there's a little pitting here. Um, it's not all the way through though. I think that if we hit that with some uh, steel wool that that's going to have a pretty good result. You can see how much I just got off with my finger. That's just, this is one of these boats that doesn't move much. So that's just from it sitting here. It doesn't have a weird odor in it. I do not like weird odors. I've noticed that he has these um, West Marine dehumidifiers in every room. And that's why it doesn't have a funky boat odor that you get in a lot of these boats. Good view from the helm. I'd be very happy to drive this boat on a cold day from this lower station. Nice stairs going down. They're nice and wide, and um, they're they're not too aggressive, so it's easy to go up and down them. Okay, in the midship stateroom. nice double berth and because in this area there's quite a bit of headroom you can sit up to take your shirt off or put your shirt on and it doesn't really feel that claustrophobic to me um, because you know it has this area here that offers probably about at its highest maybe about four and a half feet of headroom and uh, you have an opening port light you have reading lamps there and you have a nice hanging locker here and it looks like the backing of it is cedar lined so that's nice headliner all in good condition uh, throughout the boat carpet um, looks to be original and um, you know you've got like a little wear here and a little tiredness but I wouldn't rep I wouldn't replace it um, I'd probably shampoo it it's definitely um, a little flattened, but I think that with a good shampoo this will last you a few more years at least, so I like that. Okay, the angled bed. The angled bed has three drawers down below it.
again, they're nice deep drawers. Um, they can hold quite a bit of stuff. And uh, I think that would be good for Dan because I know you, Chris, here are probably going to have this closet and the one next door. So at least Dan has those three drawers that he can put his stuff in. I like this seat here where you can sit down to take off or put on your shoes. Um, it's wide enough that I could sit on it comfortably. And so if I can sit on it comfortably, I think anyone else can. Once again, we have the dehumidifier here. There's a good smell in here. Um, so not to worry about that. The bed is a good size. It's at an angle, but it's uh, one of the bigger beds I've seen in a boat like this. And I think that you can be real comfortable on this bed. Um, it, it, it's just a little narrower at the base than a double. Um, or I guess it's a double at the base and then it gets a, more towards a queen up here at the top. And it looks to be the original mattress. Um, so that would be one where we could put new foam in it if you'd like. And that would uh, give you a nice bed. It feels pretty firm though. It feels like it possibly may already have memory foam in it. I see a little bit of leaking or evidence of, um, of a seal issue here. Um, possibly it needs to be rebedded. Not really a big deal, but something to note. The other television, the old television, would have been in this area. So what I would do in this area is I would put a, uh, a cabinet door. It doesn't even need to be finished. And I'd put a flat screen television here on a hinge so I could open this up and I'd have storage behind. So not only would I be picking up a nice flat screen, but I would be getting um, you know a lot of storage behind. And you know it's right at the foot of your bed, so it should be great to watch television from. Also, there's storage up here um, where you can put, you know, uh, maybe you could put like a box or something that has um, some stuff in it and secure it so it doesn't roll around. You have a nice porthole here above your bed. And um, Here's the port on this side. This is pretty typical of a boat like this, of this age. There's something behind here. There's a seal or something that is uh, having a little bit of a leak. And I think I just found a little bit of water there. So if we survey this boat, we're gonna take it and blast it with a hose and uh, hit it with high pressure and see what happens. And um, we'll do that on all the windows as well. And yeah, you can see evidence that that one's leaked a little bit there. There's you can see some, some leakage and that's pretty fresh. It did rain here earlier today. Other than that, you have the two reading lights, which are really nice. Your light switch is right here. There's your heater intakes right there. All right, so I came in, it was just like this. Um, sometimes I have to clean these toilets before I shoot my videos because they're all nasty, but this one um, is very clean. The floor is very clean. Um, the sink looks like it never gets used. And also very clean. A couple water spots there, but not too bad. Now here, um, this is just this is part of being a Meridian. These are the parts where Meridian saves the money, and it's on um, you know uh, this type of hardware. They use something that's not quite as solid as what you'd find on a Sea Ray. Um, with that being said, I believe these halls are just as solid, but this is where they're saving the money, is on the accoutrements. Um, once again, you've got a little bit of corrosion here at this window. And this window was open when I got here, and there's a little bit of dust and whatnot in here, so I think that dust is just from the window being open. I think if I owned this boat personally, I think I'd spend quite a bit of time here and possibly I'd even sleep here because there's so much room and it's a big bed and those beds are known for being pretty comfortable. You can put a mattress topper on them. It converts in, in a matter of seconds. It's not really that hard. So I think for myself personally, um, I would definitely give it a go trying to sleep out here because uh, you know, lots of natural light, lots of space, lots of room and the heater is right here in this compartment. Let's see if we can take a peek down under this hatch. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. 
So, look at that. So we've got a thruster, but it appears the thruster motor is not there, so I'll have to check and see if that's being repaired. Right there. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. Um, these uh, through halls here for your rudder posts could probably be scrubbed and oiled. Exhaust hoses look to be in good shape. We've got the 3000 watt inverter, so that's a monster inverter. That's like a $600 inverter, and that's going to do just fine for making power for you. Three phase charger, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six batteries aboard. Um, if you notice, there's a ton of space here. I can build you a battery setup that'll keep you out to sea and off the charger, you know, for days at a time with this much space. So, that should not be an issue. Also, you're going to be able to store quite a bit of gear in here. Okay, as we go up the stairs, um, they're on the steeper side as far as stairs go. But for a boat of this size, they're about as good as it gets. It's much better than a ladder. And I think that, um, you know, you could safely trans um, go up and down these stairs while underway, no problem, because you have a nice handrail on either side. All the seats have covers. I've stacked them here in the corner to get them out of the way, but they're all covered. I think those covers were added at a later date because the seats are a little bit worn. A lot of this wear, if you look at this wear, where the wear is, it may not actually be wear. It could be from those covers because it's all here on the top. So it either was sunburned or those covers sat there. And uh, sometimes you get this effect where the black of the cover um, can get in there and uh, cause this. I think they could be cleaned up. Uh, once again, this is one of the areas that Meridian saves a little money. So it wouldn't be too hard to reupholster this. And uh, really that's the only thing I could suggest in this area. Everything seems to be pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I might want to get an estimate for recovering these. Captain's chair, I can clean that up. And I really do think I can make these look at least 90% better. Here's your radar dome controls up here are spotless. Here's your bow and stern thruster controls. You have a multi-gauge. This is the area where you could put GPS, but for, but for me, if I was going to put a GPS, I'd put it up here. And um, on a ram mount so I could see it better. And in this boat, I'd probably go with an iPad with the navigation program and then just have the C80 down below. Um, this front window appears to be brand new. Um, not this side panel, but this one here is new. And um, the other ones are probably, you know, a couple years behind that. But they're very serviceable and don't need replacement. Um, it's got a little screen here. There is snaps all the way along the back here. Um, so there must be an aft curtain. And if you look at this top, this is brand new. So this was just recently done. It's in really good shape. Um, it's the good stuff. He didn't use the cheap stuff, so that's nice. It's going to be pretty waterproof. And I can also see there's a little eyebrow off the back there, and it has a zipper on it, so this whole area will enclose. Got a Clarion sound system. And it looks a little corroded in there, but once again, very cheap. Um, plastic cup holders can be changed to stainless steel for about seven dollars each and it takes two seconds to install them those ones pop out the new ones just pop back in um, looking forward onto the bow you'll notice there's some snaps I don't know if you can see that but there's some snaps there and there's a bow cushion that probably is not with this boat due to age but you can put a cushion up there so you can sit out on the bow with your nice cushion and I can even make those cushions with cup holders in them so you can be up there and have a tasty beverage while riding along on the bow. Things to add to this boat. More batteries. Um, I think that you'd also 
want to add that bow cushion because it's a lot of fun. And um, I think that you would want to add autopilot, would be a must. Um, and really that's my short list. I think it's a great boat. I think it's a uh, bang for the buck. I don't know what we could find unless it was another one of these with more options on it, but I don't know what else we could find that would make me happier sending you guys off on your adventure. Um, little water in this forward bilge right there but nothing to worry about it looks to be fresh um, but I will ask where that came from it probably came from the rain today um, here's your engines this is really what we're after is these Cummins engines and this is the reason to buy this boat be because of these engines They look to be in pretty good nick. They've got pads down below and I'm not seeing, I see one little drop of oil down there, but that's about it. Everything seems to be very clean. There's a little green starting on your uh, through hull sea strainer here. Um, once again, just a cleaning issue. Motor mount has a little surface rust. Once again, just a cleaning issue. There's your leak right there. Um, once again, I don't think it's a very bad one though. I wouldn't be too worried about it. So yeah, these are Cummins Diamond Series, Dan. If you want to do some research on them, I think you'll find the great engines. And the nice thing about it is they use this engine in many different horsepower ratings. And this being one of the lower horsepower ratings, but it's the same block as what you'd have on the larger horsepower rated one. So basically you have a motor that's pretty bulletproof because they're running it at such a low horsepower rating for what it's actually um, designed for. So they're using one block, different, uh, different horsepower ratings, different uh, turbos and compression ratios and things. But yeah, overall, I think it's a good one and uh, can't wait to show it to you guys. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.